This video provides an overview of satellite remote sensing and the relevance of satellite measurements to air pollution near the Earth's surface. Instruments on environmental satellites provide essential data about the Earth and its atmosphere. The data are used in a variety of applications relevant to our daily lives, such as weather forecasts, natural disaster impacts, land management, and land use planning. Satellite remote sensing is especially useful over remote regions where it is difficult to collect data at the surface. There are many different types of instruments used in satellite remote sensing. Instruments are often referred to as passive or active remote sensing instruments. Passive instruments collect reflected and emitted radiation in a wide range of electromagnetic frequencies, including visible, infrared, and microwave frequencies. Active instruments emit their own energy, then detect and measure the radiation that is reflected or scattered back at the frequency emitted. Both passive and active satellite remote sensing instruments can measure aerosols and various chemicals such as particle pollution, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere. Passive satellite remote sensing instruments, such as radiometers and photometers, are the most common. These types of instruments can provide near-global daily coverage of atmospheric pollutants and chemical data. One instrument capable of detecting aerosols from space is the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer or MODIS. MODIS instruments are carried by NASA's Terra and Aqua satellites, which were launched in 1999 and 2002 respectively. The MODIS instruments on these satellites have a viewing swath of approximately 1,400 miles, covering the entire Earth's surface every one to two days, with twice daily passes over the continental United States. MODIS acquires data across 36 spectral bands, providing a wealth of information on a wide range of land, ocean, and atmospheric variables. It's one of several instruments in orbit that can measure aerosol optical depth, a parameter that allows us to estimate particle concentrations in the atmosphere. More details on aerosol optical depth are provided in the video discussing the methodology for estimating ground-level particle pollution, or PM2.5, concentrations. Particle concentration estimates from MODIS have been used to supplement ground-based measurements of PM2.5. Through a collaboration involving NASA, NOAA, Dalhousie University, and Sonoma Technology, the EPA recently created the AirNow Satellite Data Processor, or ASDP. The ASDP fuses ground-based measurements of PM2.5 from EPA's AirNow network, with estimates derived from NASA satellite measurements to provide more accurate and more spatially complete estimates of particle pollution across the U.S. In the future, when the MODIS instruments are retired, Newer instruments, such as VIRS, carried by the NPP satellite, and the Advanced Baseline Imager, carried by GOES-R, will continue to take measurements that are critical to estimating atmospheric pollutant concentrations. More information on these instruments can be found at these websites. All satellite data, including air quality data, are subject to a variety of limitations. Data availability can be limited by cloud cover. In addition, Bright land cover conditions, such as desert or snow, can reduce the instrument's ability to detect atmospheric aerosols. Bright surfaces reduce data availability in the western U.S. especially. Estimating pollutant concentrations in the lower levels of the Earth's atmosphere can be challenging too, because the satellite instruments measure aerosols in the entire atmospheric column, from the ground to the top of the atmosphere. However, the atmospheric column over North America tends to be dominated by particles near the ground. Furthermore, the relationship between the total aerosol column and near-surface aerosol concentrations varies in time and space. Representing the total column to near-surface relationship is an area of active research, as discussed in the ASDP methodology video. For additional information on NASA's remote sensing air quality instruments, please visit airquality.gsfc.nasa.gov slash materials. For more information on the ASDP system, please visit asdp.airnowtech.org.